Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Russian Plus. In this video, we'll visit the United Arab Emirates. Recently, I took a trip to the UAE to make a video about the country, which I already posted on Cool Vision. In the process, I made some friends, and I thought it would be interesting to see how locals live and learn more about their culture. Let's start. First, we'll go to the Emirate of Ras Al Khaimah, which is in the north of the country. Meet Mohammed, a local guy who's always lived in Ras Al Khaimah. He's into classic cars and he drives a Pontiac Grand Prix 1972. What is Ras Al Khaimah? Today it's an up-and-coming tourist hub. It has everything. History, scenic locations with diverse landscapes ranging from rolling sand dunes, coastal strips, mangroves and mountains. It's developing fast and you'll find a lot of upscale areas like Mina Al Arab with million dollar villas and Al Marjan Island, a man-made archipelago with several resorts. Also, rumor has it that gambling might soon be legalized here as soon as 2027, which means there might be an inflow of Asian gamblers. You can already see some Asian presence in the city, like this Great Wall Hotel. But of course, Ras Al Khaimah hasn't always been this way. When Muhammad was growing up, this was a different place. Let me show you the old town, because it hasn't changed that much. This is what it looks like. Today, locals for the most part don't live here anymore. Muhammad prefers modern living, and he lives in one of those newly built towers. Let's see what his apartment looks like. Wow, it's pretty spacious. And this is the view from the balcony. Modern apartment buildings in the UAE come with a lot of amenities, like a swimming pool, a gym, coffee shops and different stores on the ground floor. Mohammed wanted to show me around and the first place we went to was the fish market. This one, this one from Rasa Gema. Four, 4.2 kilo. Yeah, 100. 100. Okay. It's very good. Is it all local? Very soft. Very good. It's Tiger. from Ras Al Khaimah. No, from Oman. Oman. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hi, how are you? All good? Hi, oh, baby. <laughs> Fishing has historically been an important industry along with pearling. Just learned that you cannot just go fishing. You need a permit. Even if you're fishing from the shore, you need a permit. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. You got a permit? No. <laughs> Your friends do? Yeah. Okay. So what are you buying? Food for the birds. Let's feed the birds. Then Mohammed thought it was a good idea to feed the birds. How very nice of him. Look, people playing football. Football is the most popular sport in the country. And Emiratis are zealous fans of football. <laughs> now let's try some traditional UAE food. Classic TV. Just like it used to be. And for that, we went to Asile Cafe. This is called Haris. Uh, it's made uh, by meat, little beef, I mean, mix it. Uh, with the little uh, rice. And yeah, with the little rice. So you can add some yeah. fried, fried onions to make it even better. This is, of course, you know, this we call it macarona. Okay. Yeah. But old style also here we have. By Arabic, local way to cook. It's different. Okay, it I want to. different. I want to yeah. taste it. Yeah. Not Italiano, this is. <laughs> now we're going to try some dessert and it's yes, called Asida. 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 And Mshisida. So you said it's pumpkin? Mm. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to Rasul Kema. Walking around the old town, we stopped at a souvenir oh, shop. This is like a museum. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like a museum. Pretty cool place. Shark. Samurai. Samurai, yes. <laughs> it is very old, very, very old. It is uh, made in Iraq. Is this a signature? Okay. 
<laughs> See, very calm. He give me free this one. Really? Mexico. <laughs> For smoking? Good. Ashtrid? These are gift to you. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much. Welcome. Wow. Lots of people are sitting outside. Let's talk to these guys. Good evening, guys. You live here, right? Yeah. In Russell Hema. Yes. We okay. were born and we have lived all our life here. Oh, interesting. I'm originally from uh, Lebanon. I'm from Iraq. Yeah. Okay. We've been living here for 25 years. Okay. So, yeah. And what do you do here? Uh, I'm a pharmacist. He's uh, an engineer. Yes, I finished my studies here. I, I grew up here. Okay. Lived my yeah. whole life over here. What do you like about Russell Hema? Simplicity. It's very simple. And the friendly environment. People here know each other. Everyone knows each other. Unlike the big cities where people don't even know their neighbors. Capitalism did not find its way here. Yeah, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah, um, everything is simple. Everything goes back to the roots of the uh, Emirates in general. Uh, if you want any uh, thing like heritage, you want to see old things, you come here. And as my friends say, you can find a lot of people here just there for you. Okay. Everybody knows each other. Tea drinking is just something that brings people together, right? Yeah. Is that something you do every day? Uh, almost every day okay almost whenever we're free we just gather up you know okay uh, because with time people got busy like we find a job we have families but we always find the time for ourselves to gather up and speak uh, the traditional uh, food they serve here is really uh, yeah, it's amazing uh, it's really amazing i should stop by tomorrow <laughs> oh yeah all right thanks a lot man In the evening, the city gets busy. We went to play some pool and had Mohammed's Pontiac washed because we were planning to take part in a car drive the next day. Okay, next morning. We started early. Around 8 a.m. we went to grab some food. One enough? Yeah, okay. yeah. Give me two. One for, uh, okay, we'll take two. Chicken, chicken wrap. The car event started around 9. Everyone got together. There were lots of amazing cars from Ferraris to classics. We had some coffee, took some pictures, and were ready to head out. Good morning, guys. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Everybody ready to go? We are yes. ready. We are a small community here in Las Alkhema. I've just got an idea. So why not we do like a small gathering? We select the Saturday morning, which is the, uh, the time that everyone should be free. And everyone uh, love his car he can push himself to walk up early and come here. So we did it every time from 8 to 10 uh, in winter season, from uh, every, every Saturday. Uh, within week by week, we are like uh, inventing or creating a new drive. So by today, inshallah, we will have a drive to Jebel G's, and mashallah, you will see a variety of collection here. Nice, which car <laughs> are you driving? Well, I'll drive the pink Porsche. If you ever wondered how to make friends with locals in the UAE, just join one of the car clubs. Uh, ice Americano. <laughs> I'll take a cappuccino. What are you guys driving today? Uh, today I come by the R32. Uh, what about you? Driving? Uh, I, came with, I came with him. Okay. So, you ready for cruising? Yes, I am. Up in the mountain, man. The road to Jebel Jace Mountain is one of the most scenic drives in the UAE. This is where you find the longest zip line, the highest restaurant in the country, and so much more. Now let's look at the cars and talk to the owners. It's a Datsun 240Z, it's a 1970 Series 1. People hate me for what I did to it, but uh, I changed everything. So uh, <laughs> for a Series 1, I mean, uh, yeah. But I mean, it's, it's a, a project that I've been building for very long, more yeah. than seven years. I have the 350Z engine. It looks like a GTR engine, so I can show you in a bit. 
but uh, it's like uh, bringing a modern engine to a, a classic car. The idea was to build it to track it. Yeah. Even the suspension, everything is changed, so it's been built to be driven. I will not say this is a collectible kind of, it's, it's more like, you know. It's more like fun to drive. <laughs> exactly. Tell me about this car. Uh, I bought it three years back. The body was all stock and then after that I did a white body kit on it and then I bought, merged it to the body. It's not clip, it's merged with the body and rest everything is stock. What year is this car? It's a 2006. Hello! Hi! What's your name? I'm Delia. Tell me about your car. I have a Porsche Boxster 2022 um, and I love it so it's just brand new, two years almost and uh, it's my baby so yeah. Okay. It's not the first time you're participating, right? It's the first time, yeah. Oh, it first is? First time with oh, okay. a group. Okay. Overwhelming to see so many men around, so <laughs> trying to, you know, uh, yeah, fit in. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. After that, we had a picnic with the boys. We cooked some time and slept for chilling, good vibe, and cruising around. Like Can anybody join you? Uh, yes, a lot of people join us. This guy, I don't know them before. I met them the first time I met them uh, in the car uh, gathering. After I met them and we ha we be a good friends. That's how you make friends. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Especially in winter because the summer in this country, you know, the summer, especially for a classic car, the temperature is hard to like control the car, you know. So who's responsible for cooking? I me. Mean, okay, <laughs> tell yeah, me we, are, we are making the, some barbecue and lamb. It, uh, we put some lemon, yeah, some uh, salt. How, 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 how about the taste? You can tell me? It tastes great. <laughs> yeah. Show me the barbecue place. Yeah. Kebab's getting ready. Ooh, on fire. But <laughs> 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 the highest mountain in the UAE. What a place to be, right? Especially in a car like this. All right, let's go for a ride, man. And then we drove to Karfikan. It's a city on the east coast which belongs to the Emirate of Sharjah. On top of being a classic cars fan, Mohammed loves old school rap. I got to listen to so many rap songs from the 80s and the 90s that I never knew existed. And this is where we joined Sharjah Classic Cars Club. Ooh, seems like my food has arrived. When it comes to food, you gotta try some local seafood, of course. Make sure you try hamur. That's a local name for the gold spotted rock cod or brown spotted reef cod. And of course, drink some Arabic coffee. You hold in the left hand, it's like this traditional uh, coffee. Uh, most of the people here, uh, they're using in the morning, you know, for the month, relax the month, to wake up. When you finish, and you don't want more, you have to shake the, the cup, you know? Oh, wow, okay. So it's mean... Uh, shake the cup. So it's mean like uh, I had enough, okay? Yes, okay. Because long time ago, the people, they put the, the coffee for uh, like shake uh, and uh, for other people, they, uh, they don't hear, you know? They have bad with the, like uh, with the ear. So the, they know by shaking, you know? They shake the cup. Okay. So he know uh, that he don't want it. Okay. Russian, also we speak Russian. Хорошо, спасибо. Because you say I will tell you a story about this car. Okay. The right one, okay. Yeah. This is MGB. Uh, model 1969. 1969? Yes. And how many cars do you have in your collection? I have about 15 cars. Okay, 15 cars. Yeah. We are in Karfakan, beautiful town. And it's evening time and I think we should go for a walk because it's so beautiful. I'm really surprised. It seems like people have a lot of passion for classic cars in UAE. And so there's so many car events happening at the same time. I've noticed you you, you have a Niva Lada on yeah, yeah. your t-shirt. How come? Yeah, I have a Niva Lada in the home. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. And uh, you have many cars? 
Yeah, yeah, I have more money. You know? I, mean, I have, I have GT Skyline, I have Nissan Petrol, I have uh, Vini Copper, I have uh, Willis. This. Yeah. What's your favorite car in your collection? Favorite? Yeah. <laughs> this one. This, yeah. All right. And I'm, what's your name? Abdelaziz. Nice to meet you. My name Thank is Slava. You. Okay, it's 1979. This is a Cadillac DeVille, 1964. And it even has the original plate number from Ohio. Look at that, 1964. Wow, that's part of history. Yeah. <laughs> There's always time for coffee, right? Yeah. Always time for coffee. Arabic, American. Yes. Come up. And dessert, of course. When the event was over, the guy suggested we go cook some kebabs in the desert. That's a brilliant idea. Al Mansuri, yes, sir. what seems to be the problem? No, just checking for the oil level. Right. Maybe yeah. don't worry about Because yeah. I see some uh, little bit of leak. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, really? See here? I can see so many similarities between different cultures. This is totally something that the guys in Russia would do, or some guys in the US or elsewhere. You know, get together, talk about cars, cook some food. But in Russia, we'd probably be drinking. It's a hungry cat. Hello, chef. What are we cooking? <laughs> All right, we got lamb sticks, right? Yeah. Oh, see, they automatically they rotating. Yeah. This is so smart, right? Yeah. You know, the whole piece is custom made, and then the rotation mechanism is also custom made. So this whole thing you created yourself, right? Yeah. All custom made. Yeah. This guy was so creative. He made a rotating cooker for kebabs, and it did not come as a surprise when I learned that he worked as an engineer. It's very good. Good sauce. Keep it a secret. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Okay, taking all the garbage with us so the place is clean. Very nice. As you probably know, UAE is a Muslim country. Muhammad prays five times a day, so when he was showing me around, he always remembered when it was time to pray. He would find the nearest mosque, and it didn't matter which one. Muhammad showed great hospitality, and we even visited his parents' home where we watched a football match between UAE and Tajikistan. You're welcome to my house. What's this perfume? Oud. Oud. Oh, oh yeah. Arabic perfume. This is where you used to live? He used to live in this house, but not anymore. But some of his siblings still do. For example, this is his sister's room. <laughs> Let's drink some coffee. His dad used to work as a police officer. Oh, nice cup. I like that. But now, even though he's retired, he continues to work at a local school. UAE playing against Tajikistan. It's like a summer patio. Wow. It's your brother's studio. Yeah. Sometimes you get together and start rapping. Yeah, yeah. we put music, uh, we go for freestyle. Do you do it in Arabic or in English? Uh, both. I can't do by English or Arab. <laughs> and maybe I'm learning now to make it by Russian one. <laughs> All right, I guess game and steering wheel. Computer, big screen. Yeah. It's living like a hotel. Yeah, it's like a five-star hotel. Wow, look at that. Mohammed introduced me to his cousin, Abdullah, who lives in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. So let's travel to the south of the country and meet Abdullah. He runs a media company in Abu Dhabi and his passion is flying FPV drones. He even tried to teach me how to do it. First, we went to a seafood restaurant that's popular with locals. Let's see what we had for lunch. Some fatouche, fried bread. fried bread, seafood soup. So this is kingfish. Yeah, fried with the Bukhari rice and um, gravy with the shrimp. Gravy with shrimp. His portions are huge. They are in Arabic country. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's good for three people, not two people. Yeah. <laughs> now, a cheaper way to eat would be to go to one of the fish markets, like this one. This is where you can choose what you want to eat and have it cooked for you right there. It's very fresh and it's a lot cheaper. Hello, hello. Hello. So the local market, you can order some fish, they will cook it for you, and you can enjoy it right here at the market. You buy, you go to the, the place for cooking the, your food. And they'll cook it for us. Yeah. Just try it. Ajwa Medina. Ajwa Medina. It's from Saudi Arabia. So the best combination, dates with Arabic coffee. So, so you will go back to Russia very <laughs> strong That's right. and search for many wives. <laughs> The food is ready. Let's try it. Oh, that's a, is that a small octopus? Okay. If you want to eat fresh and cheap, you have to come to the market and order food from there. Now let's visit some places off the beaten path. The Emirate of Abu Dhabi has fantastic roads and speed limits are generous. On certain freeways, you can go as fast as 160 kilometers an hour. That is 100 miles an hour. Imagine this place for 45 years, 50 years. It's all desert, you can't take now. It's all green and nice streets we have. Wow, it was nothing but the desert. Yeah. And now you have top-notch infrastructure, trees, and everything. And uh, civilian cameras. <laughs> and cameras making sure you don't exceed the speed limit. <laughs> Some 40 minutes away from the city, you can visit Emirates National Auto Museum. This is a private museum that has the largest collection of 4x4 vehicles, the largest caravan with eight bedrooms, and the world's largest drivable replica of Wheelie's Jeep. It looks like nothing special, right? Until you realize its actual size. So, yeah, it's a gigantic car. In the 50s and 60s, there were no SUVs in the area, so they would use these cars to go camping. And so a lot of times they would get stuck in the desert, of course. Do you have something a little bigger? You do? Oh, now you're gonna see the scale. Oh boy. Abu Dhabi is a large city with 1.5 million people and it's the capital of the country. It's very wealthy and it owns 95% of the country's oil and 92% of the country's gas. Right now it's developing tourism just like Dubai, but it shows a different approach. It focuses primarily on family-friendly activities. So you'll find tons of things to do for families here. Lots of amusement parks, museums, and whatnot. One time we went to pick up Abdullah's son from his parents' home, and I got to meet his dad. Okay. Watching a football match. Yeah. And this is coming for you. By, the, by oh. the way, I, I designed this uh, medalist. Okay, I all this. My design this. Interior, he, he built it <laughs> alone. Without Great. designer, he designed it. Very nice. Yeah. Let me show you. He has skills in designing. After he retired, he discovered his skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, have. Dates. Dates, yeah. A lot of foreigners have this idea that UAE locals, they get uh, some benefits from the government. Is that true? Yes. It's, uh, it's from the founder of UAE, Sheikh Zayed. He said, let's make the country rich with the human, with the manpower. So he's focusing on the manpower, local manpower in UAE, and uh, support them in their life. Like as we have in, uh, two days in a week, we have a place called Al Barza. This place uh, where is the Sheikh is there and we go to talk with him and uh, hi him uh, and ask uh, like what we need. What, what kind of re request can you make? Like if you have uh, problems with your loans, like you are now you are not working okay? okay, or you are fired from your work or something happened with your work. So you can ask for your loan so, to be yeah, forgiven? For, for a help uh, okay. to, to pay you uh, the loan or uh, like uh, you need a uh, home, you have family now, you have wife, you have children, you can ask for uh, uh, home. We have also the um, uh, entity, authority entity of, for the local to, to just uh, apply for a villa or loan two million dirham with the land. They can give you land with two million dirham to build or ready villa for you. This got me curious and I wanted to make sure I heard it correctly. So I asked Abdullah to show me some of those villas from the government. You have two options, uh, ready villa or land with two million dollars. 
for me, I prefer ready. <laughs> yeah, no headache. But you have to be 30 to apply, right? Yeah, 30. You no, know, if you are in 20s and you're married, you, you can apply. But okay. if you're not married, they, you can apply at 30. Okay. And if, uh, regarding the marriage, yes, when you married, first, first wife, not second or third. No, only first wife. Okay. Maybe they will change the law later for second wife. For now, uh, first wife, uh, they will give you like around uh, 60 to 70,000 as uh, to start your life with uh, okay. marriage and uh, some educational uh, uh, marriage educational uh, materials they will give you and some courses to how to manage the life, the marriage life with your wife. Also courses for the wife is <laughs> how to treat their <laughs> husband. Yeah, really, really, there is. We are, we are glad to have this, uh, this government. We love our government, alhamdulillah. Yeah. They are so kind, so justice. They always uh, encourage us to develop our skills uh, by education, by uh, support uh, in many different fields. I met a lot of interesting people in the UAE. The For example, winner? I ran into these guys from Sudan, and one of them actually used to study in Russia. Let's talk to him. Привет. Здорово. Не ожидал. Как дела? Привет. Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Хани. Ты учился в России? Да, в Перми. В Перми? На Урале. А я из Екатеринбурга. О, недалеко. Да, соседи, да? На кого учился? Химико-технологический факультет. Ничего себе. Здесь хочешь найти работу? In the oil? Да, на oil и газ. Ага. Да. Понятно. Отлично. I met a journalist from Chechnya who recently moved to Dubai. Tell yeah. me where you come from. I came from Chechnya. So uh, I came here like uh, it's almost one year. Uh, like I'm here, yeah. And I'm doing videography, photography, like trying to do. In uh, in Chechnya, I worked on television. Uh, Grozny TV, <laughs> wow. yeah, Grozny TV, and uh, why not? We have different channels, yeah, and radio, radio, same. But uh, mostly like doing uh, entertainment projects, like something like late night show with guests. And uh, when I came here, I met so many talented people from, I don't know, around all the world. Before I came to UAE, I heard like too many informations, like on website, like it's uh, too strong regulations here, like uh, you can't film uh, anyone, like a uh, lot of people don't like cameras, something like this. Uh, it's not like 100% true, to be honest. Uh, when I, for example, uh, go out to film something, like everyone wants to join uh, the vlog, I don't know, the movie that I'm making. Right. Yeah, everyone wants to talk something, like, and uh, everyone in invite to their, I don't know, community or like the place where they are. Yeah, that's it. UAE is a very international place and you'll meet people from all over. Low taxes, safety, high standards of living and job opportunities keep people coming. The country has a population of about 10 million people, but Emirati citizens are only 11.6% of the population. The remaining residents are expatriates. It's next to impossible to become a citizen of the UAE unless you're some super, super outstanding person. Even if you're born here, but neither of your parents is an Emirati citizen, you're not going to become one. Well, that's the rules, like it or not. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope we got a glimpse of what life in the UAE is like outside of Dubai. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.